On this day in 1962, American businessman Sam Walton opened the first Walmart, then known as Walmart, store in Rogers, Arkansas. Little did anyone know at the time, but this would mark the beginning of what would eventually become the largest retail sales chain in the United States. Sam Walton had a vision of creating a one-stop shop for consumers, where they could find a wide variety of goods at affordable prices. With this idea in mind, he opened the doors to his first Walmart store, which spanned 16,000 square feet. The store offered a range of products, including household items, clothing, and groceries. One of the key elements of Walmart's success was its innovative approach to supply chain management. Walton focused on building strong relationships with suppliers and negotiating lower prices, which allowed Walmart to pass on the savings to customers. This, in turn, attracted a large customer base and fueled the rapid growth of the company. The success of the first Walmart store set the stage for expansion into a nationwide chain. By the end of the 1960s, there were already 24 Walmart stores in operation. The company's growth continued throughout the following decades, expanding into new markets and introducing new concepts such as the Walmart Supercenter and Sam's Club. Today, Walmart has thousands of stores across the United States and has become a household name. It continues to be a dominant force in the retail industry, offering a wide range of products and services to millions of customers. Sam Walton's vision and the humble beginnings of that first Walmart store in 1962 set the stage for the retail giant it is today.